Hi, my name is Labox, and in this video, we are going to take a look at the game Cosmo Dread. Cosmo Dread has been released on the 25th of March for the Quest 2, but also for PC VR headsets on Steam. In Cosmo Dread, you are basically trapped in a dying spaceship filled with horrors. You have to survive, you have to explore and find your way back to Earth. Cosmo Dread features a rich, tense and very nice atmosphere. In this video, we are going to take a look at the first 15 minutes of gameplay. And it's actually the really first 15 minutes of gameplay. I haven't launched the game yet. So you really see my first impressions of the game and my first reaction. And after that, we are going to talk a little bit more in detail about the game, about some things I like and some things I don't like. So you know what? Here we go. Here's the first 50 minutes of gameplay. Okay, so here we are, the first time in Cosmo Dread. This is actually the first time I'm launching up the game, so let's see what's, uh, what's in here. Apparently, we are in some kind of... Well... How can I say it? Uh, here do we sleep? We are in some kind of space shuttle, I guess. But uh, let's start the boarding procedure here and jump straight into the game. Uh, option credits, new game. Starting weapon. Just random, I guess. Unlock weapons by getting their fabrication blueprints. Okay, so we don't have that. So, board. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Use left stick to move. Okay, fine. Use right stick to turn around. Okay, but we turn around with our whole body. I like that. But we can also turn like this. Fine. Okay. Something is going on here. But uh, it's fine. Point with your hand and use the grip button to grab things. Shoots projectiles from a bold pack. Oh. Okay. You don't have ammo for that. You want the ammo for your crossbow? Pick up this bolt pack. Okay. Insert the bolt pack into the crossbow. There we go. Grab and drag back the handle to knock the bolt. And now we can shoot, apparently. Uh, but do I want to waste ammo? Yes, I do. That pack over there. There we go. Can I put this away? Yeah, nice. So if I release the grab button, it automatically puts it in my inventory. And I like that. I don't want to grab things off the floor all the single time. Am I wearing my shirt correctly? Holy shit, what's that? Okay, well, what is this? Pocket calculator. Do we want that? Like... Oh, there's a bit of gravity here. I like it. Well, less gravity. What's going on? There's a lot of things going on here. I guess I will just move around and see what will happen. There's a lot of items, apparently, that we can pick up, so that's nice. What is this? Might contain valuable information. Interesting. Can we store that somewhere, is the question. There we go. Drop items here to add them to the inventory. There we go, so we got a disc. Do we want a bowl? No. Keep an eye on your oxygen level. Find and use oxygen canisters too. And I'm too late. Attention. Detected structural damage in sections 4 to 8, sector 6. 
Section 11, Sector 9, Section 2, Sector 10. Please stay away in the affected areas. There's some monster crawling through the vents here. I'm not sure what that is. So we need oxygen. Find your bearings. Leave the starting room. Well, this is oxygen, so let's take that one. And then we have an audio lock. Not sure if we can listen to it. Press trigger to play. And patient number 247. They found this one in the automated shuttle floating outside our ship. Apparently, he was trying to dock with us when the jump drive fired, and it was dragged along for the ride in our wake. Lacerations, two fractured ribs, and some minor cerebral edema. A few days in the hibernator should help with all that. <sighs> if only the others were that easy to fix. Hmm, interesting. Not something that we have to take. Although, it gives us something. I don't know what exactly. A can of food. Well, let's just take that one. Why not? And why not, you know, let's take the audio logs well with us. We can carry 10 out... 10 items, so why not? What is this for? Cereal box? No. Hey, my ammo is there on the floor. That's not nice. I guess we have to put that in our inventory as well. Yeah. Okay. All these machines. Some of them are still working. I wonder if we can open these things here. Ooh, we can. It's a mock. Glasses, I... A bowl. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit scared and I have a little bit of a goosebump moment here. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. I don't know what's in this thing. I can't really see it. Well, let's leave the starting area. I guess that was our first objective. Our oxygen is low, so apparently I need oxygen. Let's just take it and put it in my mouth. Now oh, there we go, we're full again. I wonder if this one is now empty or not. But let's put it... Oh, I guess it's... Can't use it anymore. Fine. Keep going. Let me check my... Uh, what we had to do here. Find your bearings. Leave the starting room. I guess we are leaving it here. The objective menu reflects your current goals. Reach the courtyard. Okay, let's reach the courtyard. What is this? Okay. Place or remove power batteries into these panels to toggle a room's power. Use your minimap to better orientate yourself. Okay, this is the mini map, but it's like a really, really mini map. <laughs> uh, okay. Portable battery used to power up the rooms during emergencies. We can also just shut it down. Toggle your flashlight. There we go. Wondering what we can do with this. We can take the battery. Well, let's just take it. Why not? Do we read it? Do we need it in this room? I don't know. There's something on that side of the door, so let's just keep walking straight, I guess. I have no idea what's going on or where I am. Okay, that's some oxygen or water, I don't know. There's a box here. Can't open it. Books. Package of food. Oxygen is still fine. Let's keep going. This is... Not the courtyard, at least. Okay. Here's not a battery, we can take it out, but... 
will get dark. I do think we can take the battery with us. Just in case. Okay, let's go to this room here. Okay, let's see what this is. Deceased. That's not good. Oh, something is happening. What is this one? Deceased as well. But it's empty. It escaped. Or it got eaten. I'm not sure really yet what the batteries do, but... I do know that if I, if I take them out, the whole room gets dark. Sometimes the lights flicker. I don't know if that's a sign of... Like a good or bad sign. But more ammo. There's these... Hey, oxygen. Okay, let's take that one. That's what we need. We still have a little bit of oxygen. That's good. I guess all the rooms have at least one oxygen. Can. I hope so, at least. Yeah, I guess we have done everything in this room. So let's just... Uh, Take the battery and get out, right? I don't know. I'm not sure if the dark... I don't think it... It will do good on us. Oh! Oh my god, okay. Uh, I might actually take out my weapon here. So I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look good. Well, there's a battery thing over there. I might actually just put it in. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to attack me. Okay, it's not, I guess. This is scary. Okay, uh, hold on. My oxygen is low. It's peeping. Okay, I put fear really quick on the, uh, the lights. Let me get the oxygen. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, so what is this? Place the correct keycard into the slot to unlock this door. Shit. Well, I don't have that keycard. Okay. The minimap got a bit bigger. Well, this is not a keycard. This is a floppy disk. Okay. Interesting. Do I... Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I did put the battery in. And now the room seems to be... Cleared of that slime. So that's a good sign, I guess. Let's just take it with us. But I have to be quick, though, I think, because... Well, have we missed a keycard? Nah. I've been looking here. There's food. But no keycard. Well, actually, I haven't been looking into these lockers. There's nothing here. Nothing there. Let's keep going. And I haven't been here. Okay. Uh oh. Look at all that. It reminds me a little bit of the board game Nemesis. Maybe you have tried it or seen it, but it's also in a spaceship and you also sometimes uh, come into a room covered in slime and it will have some negative effects, but. Check it out. It's called Nemesis. Really good for oh! What's that? I'm getting attacked. I'm gonna put the battery here. Oh, I'm such a pussy. What's attacking me? Oh my god, what is that? It's going there, but it's going away. Hey! 
The blue key cards. It's gone. I want to take the battery with me though. It still has one charge. Oh! I'm getting out of here. I don't like it. And I'm almost dead already. Let's get out. Can I close the door? I'm dead. A crawler killed you. Shoot at these creatures when they are still. Try to anticipate their jumps and dodge them. What? Okay, so that was already difficult. Oh, look at this. Here was the map. This was probably the courtyard over here. Well, we will never know what... Ah, look, there is a blue line here. So you will need a blue key card. Which we did find in this room, I think. Or this room here. And we want to discover the whole place in the end. So it's a bit of a roguelike... Well, it's, it's a roguelike game. I mean, you just die and you have to start over again. You collect things during the game and during your run. Interesting, interesting. I will think I will try it one more time. But you guys have to switch to the outro. So that were the first 15 minutes of gameplay. And yes, I died and I tried again. I died, tried again, I died and tried again. So does that get boring in the end? Well, to be honest, not really. Because every time you start up a new game, the layout of the ship changes it's randomly generated so you start out in the starting room you get out and you have no idea what's next and i really like that i really really like that as for my first impressions of the game and this is not scripted i'm talking about really what i think right now yes i do get really immersed in the game that's what i think is very important for a vr game that i get immersed yes i do feel like i'm on a spaceship on a abandoned spaceship the sounds are amazing the creaky sounds the sounds of the monsters they are very nice also the graphics well for 10 euros i really have no complaints to be honest i have no complaints at all also the weapon handling feels very very good i actually would like to see this back in other games i like that i can pick up a gun hold it and if i just release the grab button it automatically goes back into my inventory instead of it dropping down on the floor i don't like that i don't like games where i drop things on the floor and i have to get back down i can't grab it or they glitch out or i don't know what that's not the case in this game and i hope to see that back in other games as well also what i like is that not only that but also if there are stuff on the table you can actually go over and aim at them they will highlight in blue and if you grab the grab button it will just automatically come in your hand um, and you can put it in the inventory also the inventory management absolutely great you press a button a layer or overlay appears in front of you and you can just put things in it or put things out i it, it just works it really works and also what is a really nice feature is that you don't have to stand in front of a locker like exactly in front to open a door for example or in to open the locker door in this case no it just highlights you can be two meters away from it you open it and it just opens and you can see what's inside really great so it just works and with it being like something that works it doesn't take you out of the immersion and that's really nice because uh, talking about that immersion, walking through that spaceship and then opening a door and then see like creatures standing there on the other side walking towards you. I think that's amazing. I think that's really cool and the game has done that really well. Well, and do you always have to start out with a crossbow in the beginning of the game? No. Um, whenever you go into a game, you can find floppy disks and on those floppy disks, there are blueprints. So with a blueprint, it says basically, okay, you can craft this weapon and you need these items for it like plastic or energy objects or whatever mechanical objects and once you have crafted a gun you can start with that gun the next run so after every single run you get a little bit stronger which is also nice and well that keeps the replayability alive a little bit well not to be honest not for me if i finish the game i would not see myself playing this game again and again and again but I'm sure there are people out there, and if you really are into this game, you want to 
uh, unlock all the weapons, for example, or want to get all their, the audio tapes in the spaceship. Well, that's then for you, but personally for that 10 euros, I just want to finish the game and yes, you know, um, go to the next game. Although I do think that for new VR players, if you maybe have a friend coming over, um, yeah, it's a great game to introduce someone to VR. It's a very simple game, the controls work, it's also a bit scary, so that can be a, a lot of fun. So yeah, all by all, and let's just summarize it here really quick. Yeah, for 10 euros or 12 euros, I don't know exactly how much it is. It's, it's a very nice game. It's a mini, small, roguelike game. So, if you're interested, check it out on Steam or in the Oculus Store. Read it there, maybe watch some other videos and decide for yourself. I really liked it and I think it's a good buy. Guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. And as always, ciao, ciao.